Hey everyone, this is Trish from Bird Feed. Welcome back to my channel for ideas and inspiration for packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes. In today's video, I'd like to share with you another shoebox that I've packed for Operation Christmas Child. And since this coming Friday, July 28th, happens to be National Soccer Day, I thought it fitting to share my soccer shoe boxes this week for you. I've packed five of them, one for a girl and four for a boy. Um, today I'm going to share with you the soccer box that I've packed for a girl. It's a 10 to 14 year old girl and it's a soccer Barbie shoe box. It's packed in a standard shoe box measuring seven inches wide by 12 and a half inches long. And I decorated the inside of the lid using the Soccer Barbie packaging. It was actually a plain soccer field with this ball. So I found this clip art of a soccer playing girl and I added it. And when she looks inside, that's what she'll see, her soccer ball and some girly pink at the same time. Now, since it is a soccer Barbie shoe box, I included a Barbie coloring book because inside there is a page of Barbie playing soccer with her pup. And I gave her a spiral notebook for school this box has quite a few donations or contributions from friends and viewers who've been sending me soccer or soccer themed items over the past year. And this Barbie is one of them, um, contributed by Angie. And she's the real soccer Barbie with the um, arms and legs and hands, everything moves on her. But yeah, she's pretty cool. Her feet, her ankles twist. She's got shin guards and the tall socks and her soccer outfit. So this young lady will have a very cool soccer Barbie doll. Let's see if we can, can we get her to cross her legs and sit down? Look at that. Will she? Yes, yeah, she will. And I gave her a couple of changes of clothing. I've given her this pretty lilac dress with the guitar that was sent to me by my friend Denise from D. Rogers YouTube channel. She found it at the Dollar Tree and I was not finding the Barbie clothes at my Dollar Tree as easily as she was. And so she sent me several outfits and that was one of them. And I think that's a perfect choice for this particular Barbie. And then I've also given her a gown. Now, yeah, this, this is a soccer Barbie and maybe this girl is a tomboy, but maybe she's not. Maybe she's a girly girl and has never had a doll with a gown. So I decided to give her this gown, which I purchased on Timu. And I love this one. It's one of my favorites that I purchased from Timu and it fits Barbie perfectly. Now, she's gonna need um, some shoes. And this is a flat footed Barbie. So I've given her these pair, uh, this pair of flat silver shoes. So hopefully that will work for both of these two dresses. And I've given her a couple of hangers so she can hang up whichever outfit Barbie is not wearing. I've given her a Barbie hairbrush because that Barbie's got long hair. And that came in a package of, I think, a dozen from Tamu. This is the soccer ball that came with soccer Barbie. She's got a tube of building blocks from Target in the bullseye section. 
and a bead kit. Now, there's a story behind this bead kit. It actually did not come in this container. So I'm gonna give you a little tip here. This is the Afro Unicorn DIY Jewelry Kit that is from Walmart, and it looks like this. This was actually, well not this one, this one that was packaged this way was given to me by Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. She and I get together occasionally and, and swap what we have an abundance of for Operation Christmas Child. We have a nice outing, have lunch, and we do our little swap. Well, she gave me one of these. But I decided to take the packaging off, but it ruined it. So this is my tip. If you've purchased these, don't try and take the packaging off. Just pack it the way it is. To get it just to look like this, it took me probably 15 minutes. I could have spent another 20 or 30 minutes taking Goo Gone and taking off all this um, white packaging that was still stuck on here. But I didn't want to take the time because the lid now is no longer secure because this packaging secures the lid on tight. So that's just my two cents worth. So I wound up having to repackage it in a container that I already had. So then I peeled, this is a sticker or a decal. I peeled it off the front of this and I put it on this one. Long story, she's got a bead kit. But I love the colors. All the colors in this shoe box are purple, pink, and aqua. She has an awesome soccer ball. And this soccer ball was contributed by Angie as well. Uh, I think I had this on my Amazon wish list last year. And Angie chose this to send. It's a really nice champion sports retro size five soccer ball. So the soccer ball was on my Amazon wish list for Operation Christmas Child last year but the doll was not and Angie sent the doll as well she sent the soccer ball and the doll isn't that awesome and look they both have the black and white retro soccer ball so I know when she saw that doll on Amazon she wanted me to pack it with this soccer ball so Angie I can't thank you enough you are responsible for this box as are a few other great friends and viewers She's got a box of crayons to color in her coloring book. I may have also sent her colored pencils because this is a 10 to 14 year old box, but 10 to 14 year olds like crayons too. And I just felt that that type of a coloring book really um, needed crayons. She also has a pocket size solar calculator contributed by Denise L. And a ball pump also contributed by Denise L. For her soccer ball, this is uh, one of the Mingru ball pumps. Nice compact size from Amazon. They come in a three pack. She has a soccer ball fidget spinner that I got, I believe on Shein. It might have been Tamu, but it's one or the other. Oh, and Barbie has a little dog. This is a Barbie dog. Now, it didn't come with this particular Barbie doll. It came with another one. I don't remember which one, but I don't think I used it with that one in a box. And with the dog comes uh, a small dog brush and a bone. So I'm leaving that in the packaging. And I just kind of rubber banded it around the dog so it doesn't get misplaced. So this Barbie now has a dog. I also gave her, just for the fun of it, and because I had two little pockets in the top of the shoebox, I gave her these butterfly pullback cars that I got on Shein, I believe. Again, it's either Shein or Tamu, but I believe it was Shein. 
but they're really cute. I'm leaving them in a little bit of packaging here because they're kind of, the wings are kind of delicate. You know, I don't know. I just don't want them to get all banged up. So, yeah, they they go really fast. So I think those can be fun. And I'm going to get to her shirt here, which is just a striped shirt. Cat and Jack striped shirt in a youth size XL 14 16. It's kind of stretchy. I think this is a good shirt to send in a 10 to 14 box because I think this will not only fit a 14 year old but also a 10 year old because it is that um, it's like that thermal weave that stretches and it has the little lettuce edging on the sleeves and the bottom hem. It's a, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's in a lilac color with red, pink, and kind of a orangey stripe and white. So that's her t-shirt. And a couple of pairs of Reebok underwear that I got on clearance at Walmart. These are a girl's size 12, 14, I think is how they came. These are little briefs, which I thought were so cute in that print. And these are boy shorts. So I think she will like these. And these are real stretchy too. So I think these could fit a multitude of sizes as well. And I've given her a couple pairs of socks some solid white anklet socks. I can't seem to find the end of this tape to un unroll it. And then a fun pair that are real fuzzy, as you can see from the tape. <laughs> My goodness. In this fun pink and aqua with the star pattern on it, because I know she will be an all-star soccer player. And she has quite a few hair accessories, one of them being this headband, another Justice headband contributed by Denise L. And I chose this one for this shoebox because it has pink and lavender butterflies in the print, which goes with her t-shirt because it's lavender with pink stripes in it. And a, an organza bag filled with a really fun assortment of more hair accessories, a metallic barrette with a little silver adornment on it, uh, some different hair elastics. One of them is that midnight blue metallic, which I thought was so pretty. A couple of different barrettes, some daisy claw clips. Um, uh, uh, there's another uh, hair scrunchie with lavender metallic on black. This is like a squiggly, that's a bobby pin, I believe, and some other different barrettes in there. Here are the colored pencils that I've given her. It's a pack of 10. These I got at Walmart after Valentine's Day, clearance for nine cents when they were 90% off. I picked up a lot of those, so that was a great deal. Oh, and she's got one more hair accessory. Well. This is more, more of a functional headband. It's a sweatband, two pieces in two different shades of aqua green, I guess you'd call that. And I got this on clearance at Walmart for 10 cents. They were originally $3. I bought all they had, which I think was about a dozen. She's got three high bounce balls. A couple of toothbrushes from Joan Cowan and a compact travel hairbrush with a mirror in it. I got this on Shein. I also gave her a comb. I get these now on Temu, a dozen for like a dollar seven, and filled a little organza bag with some other hygiene items, a nail clipper some lip balm, a few emery boards, 
and then a little mending kit from Joan Cowan. And a cute assortment of bandages in this cool plastic container that holds 20 band-aids or bandages with a carabiner. And there's different patterns, uh, a smiley face, a sad face, one says LOL, there might even be a fourth one. This came from the Dollar Tree. I especially like to give the 10 to 14 year old girls jewelry. I've given her a pair of friendship soccer bracelets and the card says no matter where we go, no matter what we do, you'll always be there for me and I'll always be there for you. One for you and one for me. So she can either wear both of these if she would like or she can give one to a friend. That came from Shein and two butterfly bracelets. So she does give one of the soccer bracelets away. She can wear one or both of these with the soccer bracelet or she can also give one of these away. And to go with her soccer bracelet, I've given her a soccer necklace. I also got this on Shein. It's gold with a little enameled soccer ball and a couple pairs of earrings. One is a pair of rhinestone studs collared in gold and a pair of gold hoops. The hoops I just recently purchased on Shein for really cheap. They were on sale and then of course I bought it with a discount and points and they cost me like 24 cents. I wish I had bought more. I bought a pair of silver and one pair of gold and they are such nice quality. I do wish I had purchased more, but I did not. And then I also gave her this lavender seed bead choker necklace with a little butterfly pendant on it so she can wear it together with her soccer necklace. And last but not least in that bag of goodies is a wooden cross that I added a silk cord to, a colorful silk cord. She has an aqua colored pencil pouch filled with an assortment of number two pencils and decorated pencils. Some of them are soccer pencils. Um, highlighter, different color pens, a pair of scissors, different erasers, including a couple of soccer ball erasers, if you can see them peeking out there. Oh, and I think there's also a six inch ruler from Angie in there as well. And she has a Barbie Maze Mania booklet, one with a little removable plastic maze game on the front and the inside is filled with different mazes for her to master. I gave her an assortment of uh, like waterproof skateboard stickers, a few soccer ones of girls playing soccer. I love this one. This is my favorite. I know I play like a girl. Try to keep up another girl playing soccer. This one says, I can't, I have soccer. This one is love with the soccer ball as the O. No grass stains, no glory, no bruises, no story. And then a few butterflies and a few penguins and a few hot air balloons. She has a few other small little items that I slipped into the box, into crevices at the last minute. A couple of rolls of washi tape from Val, from V. Swain Shoebox Sundays. And a disc shooter from my friend Sally. She sent me a six pack of these. And I think I put one in every uh, soccer box that I packed. They're a lot of fun and they shoot far. I gave her a prayer card. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. And her letter, photo, and Christmas card from me. 
And the last thing in her box is this pretty aqua print drawstring backpack that says, always be kind. I got this from Hobby Lobby when they had uh, a lot of their creatology on clearance. So this girl can tote all her items home with that. So that is my soccer Barbie box packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl with lots of contributions from lots of friends and viewers. I couldn't have done it without you guys, so thank you very much. And thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas and inspiration for packing your shoe boxes this year. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.